stuff. Uh, welcome back. Today uh, I have another bit of practice for you. Uh, once again, this is for beginners. Um, I've also been told that programming is a great way to increase your math skills. Uh, it helps you remember formulas. Uh, today I'm going to show you a program that calculates the midpoint and the slope of a line, uh, usually on a graph. Uh, you may have done this in high school, junior high school, or even college. It's pretty helpful, uh, and I'll show you how to get that done. Um, as always, open up a blank CPP file. Uh, you can name it anything. Uh, I've named my midpoint slope.cpp. And as always, you just sign it, uh, give the program a name. I name my midpoint slope. The program is NASBIS, and this time I put a purpose on there. It says um, to get the midpoint and the slope of a line. Uh, once again, this isn't something that's very complex. We don't need anything special. Uh, we'll just need uh, we we'll just need to include IO stream uh, using namespace standard. Uh, that should be standard as well. So you don't have to put STD in front of things like C out, C in. Uh, it can get annoying, and if you forget, it'll get errors. Uh, it might confuse you. And I'm starting out with void main. Once again, remember to close the using namespace standard, but not the void main because you're using open parentheses. And as always, remember to close it just in case you forget. Uh, we start out with the variables. I'm going to use float because this can have decimal points. Uh, if I use integer, um, you'll see errors. You'll see answers that doesn't make any sense. It could say, um, for example, 5 divided by 2 would equal to 2 if you're using integer, whereas if you're using float, it'll say 5 divided by 2 equals to 2.5, which makes a lot more sense. We're going to need a few variables. I'm going to, well, uh, let's get the formulas out first. For the midpoint formula, is um, it's uh, x1 plus x2 over 2, comma, y1 plus y2 divided by 2. Uh, you get the two slopes, the two points of the midpoint. The slope formula is a little bit different. It's um, y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. That's It calculates the slope of the graph. Um, you can do this if you have it on a graph paper, but this is also easier. It's a little less work, in my opinion. So let's get that out. We need x1, x2, y1, y2, uh, midpoint 1, midpoint 2, and slope. The only reason there's two midpoints here is because there's two parts to the midpoint equation. First you have to get the value of the x, then the value of the y. And they're usually not the same. Um, I mean, they're not part of the same equation. You just have to do it twice. So since I have that out of the way, uh, we're going to start out with our C outs, our first outputs. Um, this time I'm going to make this program a little bit more interact a little bit more polite per se uh, so we'll say uh, sorry about that we'll say this program will help you calculate the midpoint and slope of a line you can put anything this isn't even necessary but I'm just doing this just to show you that it can prompt things. You don't have to, every C out doesn't have to be followed by a C in. This is what I've showed you in a few other of my program tutorials. I put two E and DLs here uh, because I wanted to skip an extra line so that it won't be cluttered together. My next C out, however, is going to have a C in attached to it. Uh, we're going to say, please input the points of the first, actually, the value of the first point. The value of the first point, you know, x1 and y1, and y1 with the space in between. This will guide the user into knowing what to do because they might they might just put a comma there, it could give them errors. You can fix that later with, um, with other programming, but to keep it simple, I'm just going to do this. And let's see in. We're going to tell the program that the user is inputting x1, and you have to cascade it again, and he's inputting y1. 
remember to close every line but that's not all we're gonna uh, we're gonna need X, uh, x2 and y2 as well so we're going to prompt the user thank you well, we'll be able to prompt thank you please input the value of the second point second point I'm not going to repeat um, x2 with y2 with the space in between um, hopefully the user gets it Ah, excuse me E and DL is not necessary here. Uh, if you want it on the same line, um, but if you don't want it on the same line, then you could go ahead and do it. It's not a problem. C N X two Y two. Uh, once again, I explain the E and DLs here. Um, if I put E and DLs, it's gonna prompt the user to put X two and Y two on the next line. Uh, I'd rather have it on the same line. But if you want it on the next line, just keep the E and DL there. It doesn't really matter. It's not gonna affect the programming. Now that we have that, we have all the values, uh, we're going to start the equations. The yep, first we're going to do the midpoint. Uh, since I said there's two parts to the midpoint formula, we're going to do it one by one. Midpoint equals two. And then once again, the formula is uh, x1 plus x2 divided by 2, and then y1 plus y2 divided by 2. So we're going to do x1, we're going to put it in parentheses since it's addition x1 plus x2 divided by 2. Remember to end it, midpoint 2 equals to y1 plus y2 divided by 2. Uh, you can put a space in between, it doesn't really matter, but to line it up, I'll do it. Uh, I'll show you how, to, how this will be displayed later on. You're going to have to output both midpoints here. And we'll do the slope formula as well. Slope formula is just one part. Um, it's it's um, y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So we're going to do y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. Close it. The only reason I'm putting this in parentheses is because the... Uh, the program follows the PEMDAS formula in its parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. It goes in that order. So if I didn't have the parentheses here, it would divide y1 divided by x2 first before subtracting. Uh, that will definitely give you the wrong answer. Once we have this, we're ready to output the answers on the screen. Let's see out. We'll say the midpoint of the line is we're going to put the parentheses here, the open parentheses, inside the end quote because we need it to display as a parentheses, not as a code or a command. Cascaded, we'll put midpoint 1, midpoint 1. Cascaded again. Put a comma because that will display the... it will put the comma in between the value of x and the value of y, which is how most answers are displayed if you're doing it by paper. Cascade it again, midpoint 2. Cascade it again, and you can end it. You'll have to close it, close the parentheses to keep it looking professional. End it. E and DL. It'll put the end line. If you want to do it, if you want to do it twice, you can do that as well. Okay, and then C out. It's going to display the slope. So the slope of the line is and you don't have to put any parentheses there it doesn't need that it's just gonna be a single number but since it can be a decimal point we're doing this in float uh, you can also use um, double long double just not integer I mean you could use integer I just want to recommend it we'll do slope since that's done we'll ENDL uh, again you can do as many EN deals as you want. You can do like 30 of them if you want to put 30 spaces in between. But this will have it. And to keep the program from shutting off immediately after it completes the equation, remember to system pause and close that as well. Uh, once we have that, uh, this should be it. Uh, but like I said, I'm making this program talk to the user. So before this C out, I'm going to do this see out. Uh, thanks for using this program. Uh, once again, this is to prove that C outs don't always have to be 
followed with some kind of a command. It could just be plain sentences, anything you wanted to say. And then ENDL, and that's it. Let's run it. So this is what it looks like. The body of the program. There it is. And let's run it. I'll put F5. Um, so you can go to debug and debug it yourself. It looks like we have this. Uh, right here it says, please, the program will help you calculate the midpoint and the slope of a line, as I've stated that here. And please input the value of the first point, x1 and y1, with the space in between. Let's do 2 and 5. There's a space in between. So thank you. Please input the value of the second point. Let's do 8 and 3. Press enter. So the midpoint of the line is 5, 4. And the slope of the line is point, negative 0 0.33333. That makes, uh, looks about right. Uh, if you want to do this in your head, you can. What's the midpoint formula? x1 plus x2. It's 8 plus... 2 is 5, excuse me, it's 10, divided by 2 is 5, and then you have 3 plus 5 is 8, divided by 2 is 4, that's 5 and 4, that makes sense, so you, for the slope, you can do that as well, and you had uh, y2 minus y1 is 3 minus 5, is negative 2, and divided by x2 minus x1, which is 8 minus 2 is 6, so it's negative 2 divided by 6 is, uh, well, it would be 2 divided by 6 would be uh, 1 third, it's just 0.33, so this is negative, you put the negative on there. And that makes sense. If you want to put a uh, space in between this one and the midpoint line, we can do that as well here. I'll do that. Um, you can do ENDL here. You can run it. We'll use the same numbers to keep things a little constant 2 and 5, and then 8 and 3. As you see, there's a space here now. And please press any key you can change the system pause. So thanks for using this program. It's pretty simple. I mean, you can change the program. So I can change it to display the slope first before the midpoint. Um, for that, you just have to copy it. And paste it. And once you run it, it'll display the slope first. You don't have to move the equations around. So 2 and 5, 8 and 3. 5 and 4, so the slope of the line is there. Ah, look like I've spelled off wrong. Uh, and you can move the E and the L up here. Once again, this is to show you that uh, E and DL doesn't have to be on the f at the end. You can do it in the front to put a space in between whatever is on top and whatever is on bottom. And once again, you don't have to, if you want to change the output, what's output at first, if it's the slope of the midpoint, you just change around the C out. You don't have to change around the equations here. Uh, well, here we go. This is the midpoint and the slope formula um, used in C++ console application. It's pretty simple. It's pretty easy. And once again, this is practice. Uh, you can keep on practicing. If you have any suggestions, uh, let me know. I will try to do it for you uh, if I can. This was actually a suggestion by a friend uh, who wanted to see me do this uh, a little bit more complex. Well, it's not as complex since you don't need as much, but it's a little bit more work. You have seven variables, which is more than most of my other programs. You have a lot more outputs, you have a lot, a lot more inputs. Uh, well, if you like MAD, this should be easy. If you don't, this is a good way to learn. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe.